Hello. Sky Streak with you. Had to do a lot of pondering before I decided to produce this video. Because what I've been hearing within the last weeks, days, about Syria has just really hard for me to wrap my head around the smoke and mirrors techniques that these motherfuckers use to get you to believe that this is a justified cause to go in and ruin another fucking country. I'm sure you've all been paying attention because it's all over the news. They're blowing up the story over this false flag event to brainwash you into believing that all of this is justified even though they have no credible evidence or proof, just speculative proof that nerve agents, sarin gas, was used on the Syrian people by the Syrian government. Now let's take a step back for a moment. Who's involved as a key ally? Israel. Israel has been trying to take down the Syrians for decades. They want all of the land, including the Gaza Strip. So being the supposed key fucking ally of the United States, of course they're going to push the fucking agenda to get this done. It's in the better interest of the policy holders, the important people, the ones up there on fucking Capitol Hill, including the left wing, the right wing, the Democrats, the Republicans, the Senators, this big blown fucking out of proportion group that seems to think they can make all of the world's decisions on their own, out of context, and without congressional approval. Like, that really matters anyway. It doesn't matter. It's a system that was set up to make you believe that it all fucking matters. And really, quite frankly, it's all a bunch of fucking bullshit hoax. Individuals like you and I that think they're better than us because they have all the power and they have the military to fight their little fucking squabbles. They're like little fucking kids that don't have the balls to stand up to each other. And America, America has to fucking get their fingers in everybody's fucking pie and make decisions for them. Where the fuck does that come from and why do you think that that is okay? Because they said it on CNN? Talking to Wolf Blitzer in the Situation Room? Fuck you, Wolf! You overpaid piece of shit fucking scumbag motherfucker! How do you sleep at night lying to the fucking American public about what's going on in Syria? You don't have a fucking clue. Yeah, I'm a little bit fucking worked up over this. You know, while I'm at work being a fucking slave, I have to wonder what's going on behind the scenes and how it's going to affect me down the road. How is it going to affect you? You think because it's in a fucking Middle Eastern country that none of this shit's going to topple down upon you? Shit rolls downhill. Have you looked at the stock market lately? Not that I'm an avid stock follower, but uh, the peaks and valleys are turning into a fucking... Uh, pretty much a Grand Canyon lately over the course of the last three days and they're propping that up with crutches too but that's not my point my point is 12 years of war over a fucking false flag event that happened in New York City at the World Trade Center not to mention building number seven and all the information's out there and it's taking 12 years to even get a third of you awake to all the bullshit that they are accomplishing and trying to accomplish with their agenda and take over the whole fucking world and the currency and have a one world fucking religion 
regulation at its finest, people, and it's working. And I'm sorry I can tell you all of this and I don't have all the answers. All I can do is expose these cocksuckers that fund the rabid fucking Israeli dogs over there thinking, hey, they're just our ally, you know, we can get away with this. Just tell everybody else that they're key asset. To what? Killing more people? And how are you going to just warn Assad with, you know, a few fucking missiles and bullets? Why don't you guys just all go into a room together, smoke some fucking weed, and work it out? No, 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 no. They're far away. We have to gather up all of our uh, heavily influenced young American men who join the military to go and fight for something that doesn't exist. For a military grant. Veterans assistance. <laughs> Can't we achieve that on our own without having to rely on any form of government? Obviously, it's in their better favor to rely on innocent women and children to go kill innocent women and children. Sooner or later the remorse is going to catch up to the military people and I'm going to tell you this. They won't want to join the military anymore because they will have been learned. Oh yeah, and then they'll try to instill a draft. They'll do everything that they can to keep you down, to keep them up. The old men with the flaccid fucking drooping penises up on Capitol Hill have no other way to satisfy themselves than to have all the money, all the wealth, and all the power while you work 8, 10, 12 hours a day to keep yourself above water while they're living high on the hog, taking vacations, and killing people. No war with Syria in my name. And it shouldn't be in yours either. So pay attention, wake up now, before they take over the whole fucking country. I'm Skystreak, and as always, peace. And I'm out.